five, six minutes of this game, it isn't a concern for me for Maniacs. Unless they make their own misplays, it should be pretty even. It's the idea of how do they unlock the map after that? How do mm -hmm. they start moving around the map? Because one bad TP, suddenly Timbersaws, you try killing him once and you die two, three heroes to a puck rotation on top, that's when it gets difficult. So, yeah, a okay start to the game. Simply, you need to answer the checkbox. How do you kill Timber in the early game? Do you ignore him? Do you just have better efficiency? And do not die to early puck rotations. If that's what happens, then you're going to have this snowball effect of gyro farm and jungle, puck get, puck getting free pickoffs, bounty killing your couriers, Timber going untouched. And that's kind of the recipe for disaster that Hippomaniacs need to kind of veer away from. I think one thing that really worries me too, taking a look at this draft, is like we didn't talk about the vision game. Mm -hmm. uh, and the vision game coming out from level up is exceptionally strong, right? Because you've got DNZ who's going to be doing a lot of scouting. He's going to be able to, you know, just give them all this information so that they can get the initiation that they want. So that, you know, you've got DNZ in position, you follow up with the puck, you drop down everything, you know, with the, the call down and, and just start dumping out this damage. I, I think that's something that's scary. And, you know, usually you're concerned about the snap fire too on the back side. You want to make sure that she can get these channeled spells off. Off. And you have kind of a solution for that coming out from level up. I agree, Moxie. Where did you go? I went to get a drink. Oh. <laughs> because I was thirsty. Always stay hydrated. This is exactly. very, very important. You sound so far away, though. He did sound right? very far away. It's like your microphone also moved. Yeah. 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 I'm now I'm back. Yeah. As, the, as the creeps collide, I return. It's like he was whispering or something. All right, so I kinda was. we got the Tiny <laughs> versus Puck. I feel like uh, Mambo's guys were cut out for him again. It's a little tricky lane. I hope you didn't hear that. I, I didn't like, mute myself. Did we hear a, that? I don't know if we it heard that. It was a crisp opening of a slightly sparkling citrus water. This is a... Uh, I, I'm sorry, T, you might lose some fans now. But uh, this is a man that really likes his sparkly water. I literally played in a national UK competition under the banner Sparkling Water. Really? Yes. Did you get oh. sponsored? Uh, no. Unfortunately, uh, the TO water. stopped the tournament. Yeah. Not that popular in the UK in no, general, really right? No, it really isn't. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where you went wrong. Yeah, that, no, exactly. Could have, yeah. Still water. Should have called yourself yeah. some kind of flat beer or something. <laughs> my, my nieces like to call it spicy water. Spicy. spicy water. Yeah. Angry water. Bubbly I've heard water, that one. Spicy water. Yeah, you, you know? can't have too many bubbles though. Like it needs to be a delicate bubble. It can't be a over delicate bubbly. Bubble. You yeah. mean? Um, oh god. Oh, oh no. Are you going to hit me a technical term that I'm not? There is know? a technical term for that. Yeah, um, like Marie something. Yeah, like so. If you have like super bubbly, that's like when your belly goes. Ooh, you want it to be slightly <laughs> less bubbly where you go. Hmm. Uh, but again, it's uh, bu the bubbly waters is like the marmite of uh, of the world. You either love it or you hate it. Puck is crushing mid right now. Cool, no, no, can't do that. You know, we were hoping that this lane would go a little bit better here for uh, for Mumbos this time around. And Sandy was taking so much damage earlier from DNZ, he was getting chased pretty heavily. Uh, they have to be very careful with their couriers as well. Like we said, DNZ, he's the uh, the courier assassin. Oh, and as I say that, there goes all of that regen for Sandy that oh, he desperately no. needed in that top lane. So, you know, hide ya. Hide your curious friends, because mm -hmm. uh oh, uh oh, oh no, oh, oh dear. He's no, been held at the tower this yeah, time. Yeah, he's, he's chilling, he's chilling, he's uh, saying, okay, I don't know, I don't know where DNZ is, but I'm sure once he starts poking Sandy over here, yeah, exactly, they're gonna yeah. feel more comfable with moving that courier forward, right? But that's the no? bait, right? Where DNZ, he just clicks him once, <laughs> then the courier's probably gonna start moving in a second once the engagement ends, because all right, he's, he's out here. Or is he going to be very disciplined and not he's, move it at all? <gasps> it's on the move, and now the war's going to see it. Oh, baby. Oh, he's coming for it. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Yep, faded. Oh, he did. Oh, one more hit. Yep. There it is. Yep, him. And that's the boots. That's an oof. Are we counting? Are we counting? That's two. That's, that's two. two so far. Yeah, they got Sandy Courier, and now they got, uh, they got Curries. Uh oh. Mambo's in some trouble. You know it's what? All right. We know that Mambos is at the moment getting absolutely demolished by Noob Puck, but isn't the mid lane now a little bit more forgiving? That's what everybody's saying. So shouldn't this Tiny still have a decent time catching up? Never mind. You he cursed the Chiefs. You cursed. He I tried. mean, the oh, toss back. Mambos he's is still fine. alive, but the he's problem fine. is he needs that regen. Oh, Just, the boots. Oh, DNZ. DNZ. He's gotta get he it. Do oh, it. he doesn't see it. He yeah, he's gotta get it on the way back. Boop. Boop. 
that, that was a bit anticlimactic. I won't lie. That's why I gave the boops. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a big boop, not a little boop. No. You want two little boop, not like, one big boop. But yeah. That's, that's I mean, like he's still level one. No. Oh, okay, it's a beep and a boop. It's a meat Oh, and Thunder gets the first blood. And yeah, this is <laughs> the whole idea of the whole Jug v Timber Sword thing is when you have a support that also has kill threat, then you can kill Timber. That never occurred in the lane. Uh, DNZ did a good job at just kind of securing that lane. And mm. now the result of this is you have Venge, you have Bounty Hunter moving together. Mambos on the tiny, he is meant to do okay against Puck, but the early CS went the way of Puck. So now you have a, a, a difficult mid and an active duo on the side of level up. Hippomaniacs, none of the lanes are really going their way. Slaughter mm. is going to be the key to kind of the comeback because he, he's actually doing all right with 21 and 4. DNZ's hunting again, guys. There's a little bear courier. He's got his little hockey stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going for the big one. There he's, going he's going for, for the donkey. donkey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here Old comes, here comes. No. Oh. Oh. oh, no, it's going to be fine because in the bottom lane, they're going to try to make a play over here on the RDO nice. and they will be able to take down the gyrocopter. This is nice. This is good stuff from Hippomaniacs. They've Necessary. identified they can't win any other lane realistically. Mm -hmm. So applying pressure to the gyro while DNZ is oh. off on his little courier trips is Peck. key. I don't know if they have quite enough damage here. He's going to try and get a couple clicks off. Puking around the corner here. Puts out another crush. He's trapped up with his own creeps. Oh, this is going to be a death to peg. One more hit. No, <laughs> he can't. Oh, there it is. At least he dies to the neutrals, though. A split kill. But yeah, no quelling blade on the off lane. Therefore, he couldn't make some jukes and some jives. He just dies eventually to the a mass okay. of creeps. More pressure being placed over here on Saint. He just cannot escape DNZ. Already a madame. Whew. They are farmed. The R&D is the top lane. Curry is being dove here by Funnick, and he's just giving him the right clicks here, T. Timber Chain comes through to Peck, making his own rotation, hoping that he can possibly put some pressure down over here on the Funnick, but it's so difficult. He's a Timber Saw. He's got his reactive armor, three points in it. I don't think they're going to be able to kill him. They need another person there. It's in the bottom lane. The pressure is on. Muff is going to get chased down here. DNZ gets the hit off. LeBron will be the one to take it, but DNZ will fall. He went a bit too far underneath the tower, as Tepec is just being toyed with here by Funnick. Uh, the lane swap is uh, seemingly complete, so that means we got a Juggernaut farming bottom. Oh, is it actually going to be kill? He's just building hey, up these reactors that can eventually get him. Yeah, nice. Very cool. Soul ring. Killer of he got the yeah, very, nice very low there trying to get the... Uh... Oh, and the cookie! This is not oh, no spin no. You oh, just died. Curry, Curry, you went too far. You got too greedy. Oh, and no. down goes Jug. And now Sandy, he was trying to help out, is well, forced back. He started off by killing his Jug, then he tried helping. Yeah, very whew, mm. unfortunate, unfortunate stuff there. That's a minus armor also uh, being quite painful. Yeah, just to correct myself, there wasn't a medallion in the lane. That is just obviously a little shredder. Like watch. Hmm? He soul rings right before. He soul rings, yeah. It's because he soul ring there. Oh. He, he tried to get the old timber chain off, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. he yeah. got a little greedy. I mean, he would have died either way if he didn't try, right? Or should he have tried it after the hit came in? Nah, but it was going to be a bash. The, ba the bash is equals dead man. Yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. I gone. think he was that, that either way. He had to try to see, but no. I guess. A rare death from a timber saw from a uh, from a melee hero. Yeah, very oh, important kill for them yeah. to get though. Look at, look at the way they're hiding these carriers there. Absolutely oh. terrified that DNZ will be able yeah. to get another snipe here. Uh, DNZ, DNZ knows that there's something. Move. He knows that there's something there. Oh, he can't get it though. <gasps> what? 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 Why? Why? What? Oh no, no, the trees. Oh, he's not fast enough. He's all right. He's the fine. key thing here is DNZ has a ward just south of himself. That's what's allowing him to make all these plays mm -hmm. because like, he doesn't need to help any lane realistically. And that's what just gives him the mini game. He gets to play a rare courier slaying mini game. You don't get that often in pubs. But DNZ often sets himself up for this. Again, a product of your offlane being independent. Sure, he might die to a Soto Slada, but the kind of the, the momentum of the game, the pressure of thinking about the bounty is always going to be an issue. Well, the amount of time that they dedicated here trying to just get rid of Funnick, because Funnick, he dove up to the top lane, right? He got yep. the kill over on, uh, on Curry, and then Tepec makes his own rotation to try to deal with it. And it took, it wasn't an instant, you know, all of a sudden, bam, I'm here, I'm punishing. It's, I'm here, I'm trying, still hasn't gotten it yet. We're gonna get a montage of career oh. kills. Looks like number one. Somebody sing something sad. Number two. Sing number two. Sad. Um, um, um <laughs> the hippers know. are gonna lose the series when they curry. I was gonna die. do like something like you know like like the Titanic song. <laughs> My courier will go on. <laughs> I don't know, like something sad, guys. Come on. Look at him. He's just so he's chuckling he's about himself. Chuckling. He's like, ha ha! I get to kill three of them. Or was it? Did he kill the tiny one? He did, right? He's gotten quite a few. Yeah, he's got. 
I was distracted by the, the amazing singing. <laughs> I feel like we should be able to come up with better sad songs. Yeah, it's the sound of right. silence, guys. Oh, there's another courier. That was Tepex. Oh, Tepex does get the crash off, but there's just too many heroes here. He's going to get burst down, and LeBron gets the kill. I think bridge over troubled water. Yeah, Very sad. Yeah, fundamentally, the but biggest... But that's helpful, because you'll be the bridge over troubled water. Uh... There's nobody being that bridge for, for these couriers, man. Uh... They just dead. And now Audio is uh, joined in the mix as well. Oh, it gets the regen rune, though. It's about some more time. It's gonna get yeah, I think the, the main reason why this uh, bounty hunter curry killing works so well is simply because the lanes are so active. You need to keep your supports to enable the cause there. If they ever start trying to spend time de-warding these aggressive vision, like pre-10 minutes, you don't want to be leaving your lane and like, tr like not having presence on the map. And that's where bounty hunter, he naturally thrives. Yeah, so just props to level up and the way that they draft around this bounty hunter to ensure that he can play so off map and his team isn't instantly pressured. But they also have a pressure to ensure that Hippomaniacs can't mirror that off-map. <laughs> Did you just see that Funnick just burst through the trees like the Kool-Aid man down there? Just imagine, me. oh yeah, just punching Damn, through here, the trees. Yeah. Surprise! Funnick's here now. Whew. Yeah, and this is where Timbersaw will happily set up in this bottom area of the map. He will keep surprising his enemy from his existence. And they just can't zone him out. The only way they kill him right now is from Snapfire being six with an amp from Slada and a spin, and then potentially stopping his temper chain away to ensure all that damage is cleanly connected. But I've just described, you know, three, four heroes all layering spells, which will take about 20, 30 seconds. So the efficiency of zoning the Timbersaw right now, it just isn't, you know, value. Uh, for Hippo to make that move. Well, I mean, the nice thing about all this, right, is that you do have this timber saw. So while he's putting the pressure on the map, you're making stacks, baby. You're making sure that RDO has things to hit and a yep. multitude of them. Plus, he's got a vengeful spirit over here. So LeBron's going to be lowering the armor on them, and he's going to get so farmed super fast. Yeah, I, th I guess the saving grace, though, for Hippomaniac is that Juggernaut is the counter to Gyrocopter. Uh, Gyro sure. doesn't really deal with the damage that Juggernaut brings unless you can quickly get the butterfly. The butterfly mitigates the Omni Slash. You can go BKB, but realistically, that's not what's killing you, right? You're dying to the Slardar ramp plus the Omni Slash. So yeah, it's, yeah. that's why Juggernaut and Gyrocopter, it's always Juggernaut favored. Uh, and also when you get Satanic, mm -hmm. Juggernaut should have Scardy. Oh. So yeah, there's a lot of ways yeah. Juggernaut can play this matchup. Toss up here, right back over toward the puck. Mumbo's still alive. Still looking. Orbing forward, the jump forward here from Tepec. They're hoping, oh, good swap coming out though, but they turn back around, they get the kill on DNZ. And uh, it's not looking super great now for LeBron, who did the swap in. So, Puck coming forward, they do find the kill over on Sasani, and now Tepec running for his life, but the Chakram is out. The oh, they just bonk him right on the head. Found it gets himself another kill. Yeah, Level Up does a really good job at ensuring that all heroes are active. Like, you're what? not seeing them make this play while Star is farming stacks, forcing it to be a 4v5. But you do see Jug, you know, Curry's getting some time to uh, go hit these creeps over in the jungle. He hasn't been as lucky. His supports have been very preoccupied. They haven't managed to go and make stacks for him, but this is giving him a little bit of time. Oh, God, the amount of damage coming out from Funnic Avalanche comes out. The Teleports Rainbow are coming TPs, in as well. Yeah. Muff opening up the Fade Bolt. Curry joining in the fight now. I'm not sure if this is necessarily the right play, but Tepec also here. They do want to fight. The spin coming out from Curry now immediately, and they're focusing down over here onto Funnic, which is a little bit scary as they follow up with a good swap, and they just blow up Curry almost instantly. My god, now Tepec on the run. He's tracked up by the Bounty Hunter. You can see they're pringing in the tiny. He wants to try to make something happen here. As Funnic going right back in this yo-yo of death noob, finding the kill. Funnic chasing over here. The snap, though, over on the snap fire. Saini will fall. DNZ is just throwing out tracks left and right. They toss him underneath the tower, though. Perhaps he's going a bit too far, but he does have the puck nearby. So they'll be able to just follow up immediately with the raining with, with the tips from the timber saw. They are just oh. obliterating the hippos. It's getting a little out of control. And the worst thing here, look at that gold change. Oh. Because yeah. a bounty on the 2.4k swing, I like a 14 minute fight. That's mad. No, oh, 12 minute fight, sorry. Still that mad. Is the disgusting. hippos are looking Disgusting. like an endangered species right now, yeah. guys. It's. Like, somebody call PETA. We tried doing like the saving grace analysis there, which are like, luckily Jug's farm in the top lane. Luckily they got a little bit of something, but he TPs into mid. He uses that spin to stop the rocket, but he commits. And when he commits into the fight, suddenly you're playing into Avenge, a gyro. Lots of magic damage, lots of burst. And you, you've got to respect that swap. We don't see Venge often. Like I said, in upper division play, we've only seen one Venge across all regions in SEA. And you forget that. That. Whoop, the, the little old swap. Because he swaps on in, thinking oh he's God. fine with spin, and dies 
in like two seconds. Yeah. Should he have just stayed farming? Too? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, just farming, playing. I felt his like recovery. that was a misplay here. Yeah, very much so. And I think that is unfortunately the, the I guess the disparity where teams think nowadays Dota is all about presence in fights. Mm -hmm. When when laning phase breaks down, you have to bring numbers and win the fight. And that's kind of what Hippomaniacs are trying to do. And I respect their hustle, trying to get every hero into the fight and do it. But it's just the cleanliness of entry, you know? Level up, they're playing around the vision of Bounty Hunter, the swap initiation of Vengeful Spirit, the coil of Puck. But for Hippomaniacs, that doesn't really happen in their draft. They need a little bit more time and items to make these plays. A Blink Dagger on Tiny, a Blink Dagger on Slada, items on Juggernaut, be it a Manta or anything. And yeah, they're trying to play with the style that Level Up's bringing, but their heroes do not allow it. I guess the easiest way to describe it, level up is all they need are levels. And then if a maniac, they need oh. That's the second time the Snapfire has snapped the coil and died because of it. He and tried to time it properly. He, no. he gave it his best. Uh, he just missed the timing, but he can't sit around waiting until they kill him either. So he, just, he thought he was running out of time. This is just easily just rolling out of control, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, swap sure. back over onto Mambos. They have all the damage in the world that they possibly could need to take down a Tiny. And that's it there. D I was about to say, the Veil of Discord, I was th thanks for pointing it out. That is beautiful, beautiful stuff. All the early damage is from this magic burst. So DNZ goes for the urn to stay on map to have the heal, goes for the Veil, and it's just activating everyone else. Puck, as well, his itemization, he's not going for any blinks or anything. Kaya Sanj, he's a little bit tankier. Mm. It's everyone is itemizing for the fight right now. In game one, game two, level up. They buy active items, one each. They group up and they go. It is very ruthless the way that they're playing right now, especially in the lower division. I mean, this is, uh, this is a team that has aspirations to not be in lower division, right? This is a team that very much has their hopes yep. set uh, on higher goals on the horizon. Obviously, if they win here and if they win a couple more series, they will make it to upper division, but I think that uh, this team is also having their hopes set on uh, some uh, qualifiers that will take place at some point for the TI, because, I mean, they're, they're looking good. They're a boot camp. This is a team that is taking all the steps that you can in the position that they're in. I think the saddest thing so far for Level Up in the season is they had to play Viking first. Yes. Yeah. And I think entering, we could have maybe expected Level Up to be a, maybe a lower seed, but oh the way that they've been playing since that Viking series has been so much better. They look so, so clean. And I feel like if they played Viking at the tail end of this season, it would have been, you know, it already was a close series, Viking taking it 2-1, but I really wish we had this series again at the very end, just to really test yeah. the true improvements because Guys, there Viking is like is a the whole gatekeeper. team fight that was going on during all of that. Yeah, they're just like, they're I mean, is this a team map. fight or is this a slaughter, Moxie? I mean, we're adding context Why to the not? one by one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> team yeah. fight implies that both teams are fighting. Yeah, hit, they, were, yeah. they were trying to fight, to be <laughs> fair. We saw the Snapfire putting out the kisses and whatnot. No, I think we're doing a really nice job of just setting the scene for level up and their, and their continuation of their, their game so far. And then maybe when Hippomaniacs have that once per game comeback fight, that's when it all turns around. The I energy know, I swings. Still, I still want to give them the credit for, you know, trying and whatnot. Credit for trying. You know? Absolutely. And I mean, I hope that they're that they're still able to to make a, you know, make a good stand at some point in the game. But uh, it's not that time yet. They need probably another 15 minutes before they even can try. Yeah. The, yeah. The well, key maybe thing maybe is. 12 or 10. Yeah. Or Level up have played the game, very like very ruthless. Not many teams especially in this division, we'll be able to deal with the pace that Level Up is setting. True, and true. Flipper Maniacs, it's like we mentioned earlier when Curry TP'd into mid, that wasn't the TP required, no. but now he's adjusted. He's not entering the fights, and I guess that's the, the saving growth of Maniacs is they have identified after that bad fight, okay, we can't fight them anymore. Of course, they can feel that net worth disparity just from checking the items, and they are splitting the map up. And this is the correct way to go against it, like, to go about it, sorry. But again, a massive uphill climb if Hippo Maniacs are to win this game. Uh, it's going to look a little bit tougher here, too, because they are just walking into the Roche pit, and uh, it doesn't seem like the Hippos are going to be able to get over there in time because they have all that negative armor coming out here. They are making their way, though. They have the smoke up. They're going to go and join them over here on the river. Immediately walking out of the pit, the jump forward here from Tepec. Hopefully going to be able to go and blow up as insane. He falls. LeBron over on the back lines, though. Buyback coming out now from LeBron. The stun comes out over here onto the Rubik. Muff will fall. Mambo's with that double damage. Hippie Minutes are heavily backs. committing to this fight right they now. They want this. Oh no, the Snapfire just gets blown up. I don't know. I think I think you just got to back up. Oh, the swap, but the blink? 
No, they still have the vision. They have the track. They're just going to chase after Tepec, and he's pretty fast. This goes Bling Dagger on cooldown. They're going to turn around. He gets one of the bashes off. Chakram coming through, though. Funic just rolling on through like a yo-yo of death, and DNZ will get the kill. A little bit of a fight going on over here on the back lines, but Hippos are scrambling. Yeah, they're just trying to make a Roshan contest without the vision. The but they trying to make again. a play. Can they get RDO? They got the. Yeah, they actually they are able it. to take down the gyrocopter over the back lines. Muffy just came back alive, and he's already being hunted and chased down over here. It is going to fall to Noob as now Mombos is on the run. Chakram coming out. He is just getting pincered upon. He goes for the avalanche toss. He just wants to get to the spells off, but he can't do it. And they so killed the two. gyrocopter. They killed the gyrocopter. I mean. Oh, how much gold this time? Okay, okay. 800. Juggernaut's a big winner from this fight. Yeah. Though. He does get 542 gold as he is able to take down the big old Gyrocrafton. There's still, there's still some hope. They just gotta hope that uh, Level Up also makes some mistakes that they then are able to capitalize on. Another Chakram tossed out by Phonic. Tepec is looking for this opening. They don't have the vision over here on DNC. Look how fast he turns back around after he gets tracked. Just immediately says, absolutely not. They realize that there's wards up over here. So he makes his way over. He's going to try to go for this D ward. They have to be careful, though, because Funnick making his way over into this area. Sandy with the cookie hop. He just does not want. He's died so many times in the last couple of minutes. And it's going to be another death that gets added onto that tally. Another track kill. Yeah. You play against level up. You take the snap fire from them. And I think this is a clear demonstration of why Puck is an amazing counter to the hero. Because every single fight we've seen in the last like three to four minutes, Puck has done a great job of just stopping Snapfire from getting any of her damage in. Ooh, can maybe they make something it, happen? Can they get the kill on so. Sonic? It's got that Lotus Orb though. Small timber chain though. The a spin. widow one. Follow up the Dream Coil over onto three as it snaps immediately over onto Muff. The Chakram comes through. Curry will fall. Mombos is sitting very, very low himself, but it doesn't matter because Funic will find the kill. Middle tower is under attack. 19k net worth lead at about 19 minutes. I don't know, guys. It's a rough one. Glimmer Cape picked up for the bounty hunter. Uh, okay. A little bit of save, I guess, perhaps, to uh, you know help out. A little bit of magic. Uh. Yeah, if he goes for the shot after that, he's going to be pretty hard to kill with the damage reduction. Sandy can't even walk outside no, of the base. Look at yeah. this damage. I'm surprised that they didn't just dive him for that, honestly. And I guess that's the... the con I don't think he ticks down far enough, right? No, no, no. Yeah, no, he's fine. It's, it's the conditioning from level up there where they're going aggressive, but they're not going like OG aggressive, which is diving <laughs> to three. Hands, yeah, exactly, which... yeah. And I, I just... I think the, the main difference from Season 1 to Season 2 is level up... Oh, sorry, tempo in Season 1. Just the idea, when they went aggressive, mm -hmm. they didn't respect towers. They just continued making those plays. Mm -hmm. But here, they go for a level play, stop Snapfire from entering any fight, but they're already doing Roshan. So it's like a quick fight, retreat, take another objective. And we've seen that already where like they were killing in top lane in laning phase, whilst pressuring mid, but not enough where they could get punished with like a disparity of numbers. So yeah, I, I really like the way that Level Up have just utilized their lead and really kind of got the most out of it and rarely have they been picked off. The only one time was Gyrocopter dying, mm -hmm. but the rest of Hippomanex did die as a result of that mm. big kill onto the Gyrocopter. Dream Coil jumping immediately over onto the Rubik. Muff will fall. Yeah, too many trees in the base now. <laughs> Timber saw hat lost But we're trying to solve climate change, T, because it's really, you got to have trees. We planted some more trees. More trees. More oxygen, more fresh mm -hmm. air. It's better for the environment. Yeah. Better no well unless Timbersaw cuts the ball down. Exactly. That yeah. is a problem. He is Remove definitely an eco terrorist. Game, the thank problem. You. Yep. Funic the eco terrorist. Hmm. Curry's trying to just do anything here. He realizes that they really can't stand toe to toe, so he's just putting some pressure down on the tier two in the bottom lane. Uh, this is uh, little, look, looking a little impossible right now, but you know, hippos, they're they're not giving up. No. Nope. Again, that is one thing that we do admire about them. Yep. They have uh, resilience, testament to them. And they're even running out of their base after losing the racks. They're like, well, we can maybe look for a pickoff, but level up, they're not TPing away. They're not being greedy here. They're always playing as five. They take away mid, straight away moving to top. There's no item they need to wait for. They have Lotus Orb on Timbersaw. They've got you know, just a level, the level 12 Venge for the swap. Gyrocopter is very happy. They have double Kaya Sand, both one on Puck, one on Timber. Like they are so tanky for the moment. 
Curry is going to run very forward here. Immediately, the swap comes out after the spin. They're looking. Follow up with the call down. Mortimer Kiss is getting tossed out, though. Tepec, though, will fall. As that's going to be the Aegis popped over here. Mambo's crawling back over here to the base. Curry also just doesn't want to get caught over here, but it's going to be Mambo who goes down. Huck not quite finding that kill just yet. There's out the waiting rift. Muff is still nearby. But Phonic is just large and charged. They planted even more trees into the base. Yeah, there's Funnick not really on. much there for many X can do. No. Yeah. Sad. And I think, yeah, they... Oh, Noob's got another kill as well on the back side of that fight. Well, maybe they could take down Noob. Okay. All right, all, all right. right. That... I think Curry is very dead for this, Mate, but at least that... he got the kill. Oh, you know, they got the GG. I respect yeah, that yeah, yeah. so much. Got, you know what? They got what they came yes. for. They wanted to kill Noob, and they and got they him. Tip, 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 yeah, well. you, you get the Omnus Lash onto the puck. You tip him and you leave. You're like, you can't make a better play than us. We made the best play. They made the final best play. 